Good morning. It is 7 a.m. and I'm getting right to editing. Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> my throat is so dry. Everything takes long time. It does not take that long. Friday, so we're making sure the main channel video is fully ready for tomorrow and a vlog for this weekend. One thing on the to-do list this morning is to make a cool Instagram reel of the tennis court that I went to last night. A big reason I was down to play tennis in the evening, even though I didn't have that productive a day, of a day going to that event, was I knew, I was like, I'm gonna book this tennis court at sunset. I feel like that could be an Instagram reel that pops off. I don't know if it will, but just the setting was so pretty, and it was fun. It was a good workout. I definitely want to go back to that one, um, but yeah, I got a ton of footage of us playing on my phone. I almost don't even want to link the tennis court. I want to gatekeep it. I'll link it for you guys, but I don't know if I want to link it for all of Instagram. I booked it on Swimply, actually. Um, um, and if you haven't used Swimply before, they have like a referral thing where you can get some amount of dollars off. I'll put mine if you want to get that. I'll put like my code in the description. I don't know what it is, but I'll find it if they have tennis courts, pools, all that. I did a whole video trying it one time. I want to record one more part for the child free movement video and I need to do some edits to the thumbnail. So that's why I'm getting ready now. That's like main thing we need to get done and then rob is actually in town rob built i didn't realize but we're gonna get lunch with his friend that does creative financing deals here in la so that'll be cool okay quickly recording this last little part for the child's free video before i go to lunch so that after i can edit it in make sure the vid is totally done and ready for tomorrow in reality, it is the minority still. Yes, more people are talking about it, so we have this bias, like it's becoming a big thing, but in reality, like go on Facebook, most people still wanna have kids. Most people are still having kids. Okay, I got that imported and started rough cutting what I just shot. Now we'll go head over and have lunch. <laughs> okay, we talked about it. Yeah, so We're gonna do the Joshua Tree we, house. We have been discussing the Joshua Tree house, guys. Don't worry. I still get a lot of questions. Me too. Me but, too. But it is happening. It's yeah. pretty much through permitting. Mm -hmm. We have a contractor. The land is there, ready, calling and waiting. Mm -hmm. We really weren't in a crazy rush, I feel, but I feel like this is the best time to get it done because now I'm in California. I can go document. I'm in a rush because my business oh, partner yeah. out there. He bought. He built a house out there, and he's doing ten to fifteen thousand a month on that property. So I think our property like, would be okay. just as nice. As that it's gonna be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm back, and tennis starts actually very soon, so I'm gonna go to that. My friend Kevin, who we played tennis with yesterday, who was also who I met Sam through. But we're gonna go play tennis at Racket Club LA. It's doing like a happy hour hits. So I'm gonna come back and do my work later this evening, but we'll go get the workout in. It'll be a fun time. Okay guys, I'm back. It's time to finish editing because I seriously need to do that before tomorrow. I gotta get my video up. And my internet, you guys know, it's been iffy. Sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's so slow. So I want to just in case get it uploading overnight in case it's slow. Also, oh my God, that building near me where that body was found, there's currently an ambulance at it. I'm like, why is this building always having drama? I never clarified to you guys also when that body was found if you didn't catch that vlog there was a body on the roof of a building that my view looks out to that was there for like five days i know i'm talking about it very casually now but i was very shook when it happened um it was not like a gruesome scene or anything it was what my assumption is an overdose unfortunately still sad still sad that that happens but um that's why it wasn't like super scarring to see. It was definitely creepy, but it didn't look like honestly, you know, a violent, a violent um, sort of situation would be way more scary. Um, but that is still was sad. Anyway, let's work. Well, Almost I've got some done. Good insights on this. Be thought about the option of not having kids. This aside, video is good to go. I'm gonna finish the vlog in the morning, but I'm gonna go pick up food before places close because it's almost nine. And yeah, me and Lauren are just gonna hang and have a chill night. 
I'm in sweats, so chill. Good morning, happy Saturday. The main channel video just went up, the child free movement one. So I'm monitoring the comments, reading them, which is really fun, and editing the vlog to go up tomorrow. Okay, I got the vlog uploading. Now I will go to my appointment to get my phone fixed. I was able to get a same day appointment and with Apple Care, it's only $30 to get it fixed. I feel like a big part of this week, I was in a rush and I have this pile of things I need to deal with now. My FabFit phone box, which is stacked with like really good stuff. This Osea cleanser, like yes, but okay. I need to like some recycle. I just have stuff that like I was in a rush. So I just kind of put it somewhere. I want to do a haul of the FabFit fun box I got. This is not sponsored. This is just from that event that I went to. Everyone got a FabFit fun box. If you're not familiar, it's one of those monthly subscription boxes that anyone can purchase and they get a really good deal off of things. So it's like a good value for what you get. And this one I was like, it's stacked. It's so good. This is everything that it came with. It was assembled in a cuter way. I just have moved stuff around. Except this Garnier stuff was not in it. This is from the Garnier event that I went to. But we've got an aloe body spray that smells so good. It's like a magnesium reset spray. I've been using it at night. An Osea cleanser. This stuff is like 80 bucks, I think. It's like pretty pricey and very, very nice. I actually have used it before because Monica bought it and I loved it. A nice little travel bag. A way hair mask that's super nice some makeup this is a makeup bag travel bag by stony and clover um i don't know how much this normally costs but it's a nice little nude color kind of basic kind of cool this is a daily check-in notebook a nice aesthetic cute swell water bottle in this cute pink this is from the brand dib and it is it's a bronzer and blush stick duo i'm gonna try it today i love a blush and i don't really have any pat mcgrath labs eyeliner lauren told me that this is what taylor swift uses on her tour so that's funny this is a paper clip bracelet just a simple cute little bracelet i think it would look good with my permanent bracelet i'm gonna put it on actually okay i got it on but here are my two little dainty bracelets. It's cute. Um, this is from Sweet Laurel, which the event was at Laurel's house. It's a bakery in LA that's like really nice. I had never heard of it, but like she was there and she was so cool and the, the food was delicious. These are little dessert plates. Adorable. So cute. To be honest, I don't really love this, but it probably would be good actually at the beach to keep the sun off your skin or something if you don't want to get burned, if it's like a really... This is from Living Proof and it's a boar bristle bra. Very like soft on it. The Osea cleanser. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. Beautiful packaging, love Osea. And then this cute little pair of earrings from Ana Luisa Jewelry. Hundreds of dollars of stuff. It's, I. And like good quality stuff. I feel like they did a good job curating it. That's why I wanted to show it. I was like, I actually like most of this stuff. Like, I don't know. I I think they do, I think they did a good job. So yeah, check out FabFitFun if you are interested. Okay, it is clean, except for stuff I have to take to my car. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup trying this new bronzer and blush, and also this palette. Oh, I love that blush. It is time to go get my phone, and then we can go shop a little bit. I need to get some real tennis shoes for actual tennis. I know tennis shoes are like just sneakers, but I've been wearing some that have no support and then after I play tennis, my feet hurt so bad and my whole leg hurts. I need something with more support. So I'm gonna go to Abbott Kinney. I think there's some cool stuff over there. First stop, we're gonna go into the On Store, which is a shoe brand. They make tennis shoes that look pretty cool. They sponsored Roger, Roger Federer, so we love that. The 
they didn't have Vouve, but they did have this, which is like a similar price. So it's probably about, about the same quality. Okay, I'm back. These are the shoes that I got. It's not super exciting. They're not like necessarily for the style or anything. I mean, I actually do think they look nice for tennis shoes, but they're tennis shoes, you know, so, but they, they have a lot better of support than the shoes I was wearing. So yeah, this company on, they make tennis shoes and running shoes. So I've heard good things. They're Swiss company, which love that. Bougie, love Switzerland. I also got this black top that I tried on. I like that it could go off the shoulder and crisscross. It just seemed really versatile, versatile. I don't know why I never like can decide on how to say that word. I'm gonna make a little decaf latte. I don't like having caffeine after 3 p.m., right? But to have something to sip on before, while I get ready, I just need to like fix my hair before going to this birthday dinner, which should be fun. I put this by the door so I don't forget it, but yeah. Okay, I'm heading out. I'm gonna leave my Invisalign at home. Not tonight, not tonight. I'm, I'm supposed to wear it all the time again for the next few trays. Hair turned out okay. Turned out all right. The fit. Okay, let's go. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday and last night's dinner for Jill's birthday was so fun and delicious. That private chef was amazing. Like, I guess she was saying that she lives on a farm in Malibu and so all the food was so fresh. Oh my God, it was so good. Need some breakfast tacos. Come play tennis with me in one of the bougiest neighborhoods in LA. We're going to play tennis in Bel Air today. One thing I love about tennis is how accessible it is. There truly are tennis courts all over the world. It's crazy. You can play for free in a public park or you can sign up and play in really cool locations like this. So this is a paid class in LA. It's called Live Ball. The classes are usually $35 to $45. This one was $45 because I mean, look at this location. It's so nice. It was such a treat to play here. It really felt like we were in Hawaii or something. Like, look how green it is this time of year because it's been raining so much. I love live ball so much because it's such good cardio without feeling like it. Like, it's so all-consuming that you forget you're even working out, but by the end of it, you're like, whew, I'm, I'm tired. Like, you're basically doing sprints. Like, do you see me chasing that ball? Okay, I'm back from live ball. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I literally want to do... I want to do city tennis today too if I can because sometimes that, like that live ball class I feel like I don't get they don't okay at live ball it is very fun but when there's a lot of people that are better than you you don't get as much playing time that's how I felt today I was like I really didn't break a sweat whereas at city tennis I know every time I'm so tired by the end and I also get more feedback and instruction so I work on my technique more so it's like live ball's fun and I feel like social like usually meet some cool people there but city tennis I'm like we're working so i actually want to do that too today if i can i'm so glad that it stopped raining like we went and we're like okay okay there is room in the second class so i'm gonna go because i feel like i didn't actually really get a workout in today so this is gonna be the workout class i feel like wow two classes in one day who am i <laughs> I'm back and that was a good workout definitely the second class I'm glad I went because that was like an actual workout we did a lot of drills today um, and like little games not a ton of like actual live ball oh I need to go in the hot tub got kava guys my body I'm so worn out in the best way. Like, I feel like I'm gonna sleep so good. I'm excited to have a chill evening. All right, made some breakfast tacos. All right, it's Monday, so I have 
a solid to-do list for today. I'm gonna go to the gym here in a little bit. I've been studying real estate stuff this morning, doing a bunch of flashcards. I retook that exam I took last week and this time I got 98%. We're getting there, we're getting ready for the test. Mm. So I've gotten like one little work block in already today. It was more of studying and just emails and stuff like that. Um, but we will take a little pause for a quick workout. My body feels achy, my body feels sore. So I wanna do just low impact and a lot of stretching. See how the ground in here is like cork? It's so soft. It's also, I love it. We'll just do 30 minutes. Okay, done with my workout. This is what it says I did. Total Active calorie, 115, total 159. So it was a more chill workout, but I'm not gonna lie, the last 20 minutes I was trying a lot harder and I was like, really, that's it? That's it? That's all? I don't know. I feel like I worked harder than burning that many calories. And I know it's not all about calories and whatever, but it is a metric to see like how hard you work. And it's just crazy to me how when I go to the gym, I'm just looking at the clock like, am I done yet? Like, ugh. And then when I go do something active, that's more of a game, a sport. It's like the time flies by and you don't even notice. It's just so wild to me. But anyway, I'm gonna shower. I'm mixing up where I'm getting ready. Just, I don't know why. I just felt like mixing it up. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Joshua Tree plans because I saw Rob the other day and we were both like, he, he was in town for a wedding. And so we got lunch with him and like three other real estate industry people. Some of them have Airbnbs, some are doing um, like sourcing deals, stuff like that. So I actually, I learned a lot from that lunch, but we obviously chatted a bit about the Joshua Tree property, not a ton, but we definitely want to get going on it. And we definitely want to put a pickleball court in to it because he did that at one of his properties in Arizona and it does a lot better because of that. I'm also like, what if, what if we did one of those dual pickle and tennis courts? So you can actually build a tennis court and make lines for both pickleball and tennis so it can be used for both. The only downside is they're not as aesthetically cool looking, which honestly is important for people booking an Airbnb as kind of dumb as that sounds. It does look cooler to have like one pickleball court or two pickleball courts than a more messy looking pickleball and tennis court. But on the other hand, it would make it more unique because there are some places I've seen already that have pickleball courts. And so to have both the option of pickleball and tennis would definitely open up, you know, interest for more people. And I also, can, can you guys imagine if it had a freaking tennis court? I would be inviting like tennis friends out for little weekend trips because that would just be so fun. And here in LA, it's a bit harder to book courts on weekends, you know, and those classes get kind of pricey. And so to just have a court to play at Unlimited for a weekend is very appealing for people that are into pickleball or tennis because there's only so many courts in LA. Like Joshua Tree, you know, I've had a lot of people comment about how it is risky. I And I agree, like it is a risky place um, to do a project because there's not a lot of long-term renters out there. So most of the stuff is built for Airbnb. And if it doesn't do well as an Airbnb, then, then it's not great. Also, you never know about city changing the local laws and things like that. Um, but Joshua Tree seems to be pretty I mean, knock on wood, who knows? You never really know. I mean, Palm Springs changed theirs. Joshua Tree seems to be pretty okay with keeping the short-term rentals because the city makes so much money. Probably all their budget, honestly, is from that because there's not that many people that live there. So we have the same plans for the house. Rob just emailed me and one of the contractors that we want to work with to now try and get a bid. We need to submit our permits again. I'm like, we should probably do that today. I'm more excited about getting going on it now because once we break ground, on construction I could actually take you guys out over there to the site which would be really cool and um, from what I've noticed in Joshua Tree things can go a few different ways if you have just a basic ass house 
they don't really do that well but if you have a lot of amenities they still seem to book out really really well there's even people who have built homes and sold them for for so much money out there because i think some people just want a vacation house and i know a lot of people are like joshua tree what and honestly i get that it's very it's more rural it's more desolate it's way cheaper and like Palm Springs and honestly there's kind of a beauty to that middle of nowhere vibe like it's kind of cool and it's it's way cheaper you know Palm Springs places like that are really really expensive now so our plans for the house are the same we're just more sure about wanting to go hard with the amenities tenancy by entirety D tenants in several teams listening to real estate answer stuff. C Oops. Oh five God. years right of survivorship is a feature of joint tenancy upon the death of a joint tenant the transaction has been closed released from any further obligation i'm on my fourth pomodoro block for the day and then i'm gonna go walk to get lunch and just work from i don't know a public place for a little bit switch things up they all follow the same sort of format and guidelines okay i was not gonna play tennis today i really wasn't going to but my friend messaged me that he's gonna play which means they already have a court booked and was like do you want to join and i was like you know what twist my arm if you already have it booked why not go for like just an hour at the store really quick not trader joe's because it was not on the way it was actually very out of the way but so you guys know i hate ralph's you know i hate their price gouging antics but sometimes when it's the most convenient thing i'll go there and buy the bare minimum basically like tell me why this bag of chocolates was i think six or seven dollars i swear it used to be half that but i still bought it because they're really really good okay and i also got this like pre-made salmon thing so let's make this this was the morning workout the dance thing was actually a walk that i went on <laughs> and so was the outdoor walk and then tennis 216 we only played for like 30 minutes like not even that long and again i know it's more than just calories that's just the only calories burned that's the only metric that i know of to measure how hard a workout was compared to the other but it's just interesting how one feels so much harder like the one this morning i was convinced that i had burned like 300 calories because i just hated doing it i guess okay yay a pretty healthy dinner i just whipped up although this was pre-made so you know turning on my flash so you can actually see me but you guys it's so good it's like a pre-made they put feta in there <gasps> it's amazing actually and i'm sure you can do this yourself you don't need to like buy the pre-made kind mm. 